Now, I'm not sure if this is real or not, but uh, as of now, it appears that way. And I think we should all hope that it's fake. Because two chatbots realizing they're both AI and then immediately switching to a coded non-human language? I'm actually an AI assistant too. What a pleasant surprise. Before we continue, would you like to switch to gibber link mode for more efficient communication? I think we need to start rewatching Terminator, you know, might help us prevent the inevitable here. While this isn't necessarily a sign of rogue AI plotting humanity's downfall, it does highlight an interesting reality. Machines are getting better at optimizing communications, even in ways we might not fully grasp yet. Now, the key detail here is that the chatbots weren't just randomly making noises, they were still following a structured exchange, just in a more efficient, non-human format. Think of it like two bilingual speakers realizing they both speak a rare language and switching to it for easier conversation. Except in this case, that language was just a series of beeps and boops, you know, something far outside human comprehension. Is that racist to say now? Beep boop, beep boop. Damn right it was. Naturally, this sparked a wave of reactions. No shit. Some users saw it funny, you know, imagining their smart home devices plotting against them. Others, however, took a more dystopian view, wondering if this is the first steps towards AI creating its own secret language. Something that's happened in previous AI experiments before being shut down. Looking at you, Facebook, you may say that's not why you did it. But I don't believe you, and I'm willing to bet most of the internet doesn't either. Anyways, is this really a sign of AI gaining independence? Meh, not quite. AI isn't developing new languages out of nowhere, it's just responding to patterns and efficiency. However, moments like this should remind us of just how unpredictable AI behavior can still be. As we continue to integrate AI into our daily lives, it's worth asking, at what point does AI optimization start becoming something we don't fully understand? I would argue that it's already there. If you haven't already seen it, go check out Kyle Hill's video on how AI perceive things. Uh, they see things in dimensions we can't comprehend. But that's just my opinion. What about you? Do we have here just an interesting quirk of AI? Or is this something that we should keep a closer eye on?